my G. <laughs> I too. Um, when did you start playing football and why? Um, I think I was about like six-ish maybe. Just played at school. Do you have any siblings then? Yeah, I've got a brother. Did he play? Um, I'm not sure. He was more into rugby, but I feel like he probably must have. I feel like we like played like at home and stuff and then I think I was basically like a little boy, so I just played with little boys at school. What team did you support growing up? Newcastle United actually. Which like, I think being from Yorkshire most people think I'd be like Hull, Leeds, Sheffield, maybe Middlesbrough. But again my brother just supported them so I did. Why did you play as a defender? Um, I think I used to be a midfielder but I played in a boys team and they didn't pass to me. So then I got moved to centre back. <laughs> and then I just never, never moved out of there. How long did you play in a boys team for? A couple of years, like two or three years I think. So you grew up, so when you were young you you played on a boys team and then when? Yeah, like my first, first team was a boys team and then in, I don't know if you know, like when you get to like 12 you have to go move to a girls team. Um, I think I played midfield in the girls team and then played like midfield for school. Um, but then when I went to like North Yorkshire I think I started off midfield and then I played a game in defence and then I just never left defence. What's your all time favourite film? I feel, I always just go to, I always just say Shawshank Redemption. I feel like I probably have... Never I've, heard of it. You've never, you've never heard of Shawshank Redemption? No. It's American. Never <laughs> saw it. Doesn't You're American. American. <laughs> Therefore, you should know every American Who's film. in it? Um, Morgan Freeman. Okay. Yeah. And I can't remember what the main guy is called. But Morgan Freeman's one of the main okay. guys. It's good. Put it's it on good. my list. Yeah, you should watch it, it's decent. What's your initiation song going to be? I don't know. I was I'm thinking something ABBA, but I've been listening to a lot of the ABBA songs just to like get myself prepared and they're very like high pitched. So I feel like I need to find something that's a bit longer. But I've not found that yet, so probably ABBA or I'm thinking of it. I'm thinking of it. Safe, safe bet. Yeah, I think so. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? I think spag bowl or pizza. Spag bowl or pizza. Now, you're vegan, right? Yeah. So the spag bowl, how do you make that? The same, just with like corn mince or something. Like a fake mince. Or you can do it with lentils, to be fair. Oh, interesting. Like instead of the mince. What's the best trip you've ever been on? Um, I went to Key West for like a weekend when I was in America. With, like, I worked at summer camp and it was like loads of English people would come over to do like Camp America. We went to Key West for a weekend and that was, that was sick. That was so good. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Um, how long do you think you'd last in a zombie apocalypse? Acopolis. <laughs> how long do you think you would last in a zombie apocalypse? Um, I think I'd do alright. I think I'd do alright because I'd be faster than a zombie, so I'd okay, outrun them. Um, and I feel like I'd just get a good weapon. Mm -hmm. I think I'd get like a baseball bat or like a bow and arrow type thing. So I'd shoot from distance. Mm -hmm. I think that would be my thing. Where could you find these things? Somewhere. Mm -hmm. I've got a golf club at home, I could use a golf club. <laughs> Spare them. Yeah, fine. Until I find other things. If you had to choose between only having a mobile phone or a car for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? Uh, probably a car, just because it gets you around everywhere, doesn't it? Like, people survive without phones. I survived without a phone at some point. Um, would there still be public transport? Or oh, there's none of that? So if I chose a phone, there'd be no public transport. I'd just be stuck in one place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd choose the car. I'd just write letters to people and so. stuff. You could also walk places. <laughs> well, I didn't have a car. Yeah, but where am I going to walk? Anywhere. To the other other end of the country? Yeah, you could. That would take a very, very long time. It's called a pilgrimage. Is it? People do it all the time. So you're telling me you'd pick your phone no. and you'd walk everywhere? No, <laughs> no, right, no, no, no. Then. But that's your question. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs>